One matchstick can burn and burn and burn. And uh, when the fire builds up the momentum, it's become a storm and then it destroys the whole thing. So it's, so we have to wake up. We need to, we need to do something. Everyone needs to do something. years ago, no, while I was trekking in one of the mountains, uh, which I used to go when I was young, but when I went, uh, that time it was almost, everything was almost gone. So I felt uh, very sorry and I felt very, uh, you know, something hurt inside. So I need, I felt uh, the need to do something. Tree plantation was uh, the first thing I, it came up to my mind. I felt the need to uh, protect this place and I thought like wow this is a, such a beautiful place uh, this this place needed need, needed someone to take care of this place after one year I stayed almost alone and then after one year 2003 we uh, we formed an organization called wildlife and habitat protection society Always connected. We are always with, uh, linked with nature. We cannot be separate from it. Man is kind of uh, disconnected with her own self. Actually, self is. Uh, I mean to say, not only your personality, the self, bigger self, which is the earth. People are sometimes driven by ambition by greed and selfishness and they, they took over by their own mental activities and uh, in this process he kind of disconnected because he, he is trying uh, living in his own built up own own world which is he think it's 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 good for him for survival actually when you touch a tree or when you put your feet on the stream you directly you are connecting with, with the source itself but we hardly appreciate the beauty of the forest because forest is like chaos but it's working in harmonious way no so when you are in touch with the purity she's cleansing you so then automatically you become purer and purer and uh, things become easier for me the reality is uh, i go to the market every day and the noisiest spot in the impal market i stay there for uh, at least few hours a day uh, just to earn some uh, income also. Out there, it's easy to get angry because there's so much noise and things like that. So i I kind of aware about all that also because I've been living close to nature, so I, I have a sense of uh, calmness. And when it's disturbed, I, I, I immediately uh, feel it. This is actually the original way we, we used to build, build our house and it is very sustainable and it is very, com you know, very comfortable also. It's cool in the summer, uh, warm in the winter and it's body, your body also uh, best uh, suited to live in this kind of natural home. But we have been uh, taught and we have been uh, kind of brainwashed that, that luxury, that concrete, uh, that structure, the iron, all these things are last longer and uh, it's, it's better to live. But it is not, you know, like if you put a proper roof and proper foundation, the, the, this earthen building will last forever. Like it is uh, less expensive, it is sustainable, it's comfortable to live. And it's a way of life also. In the mirror. 
All these lines on my face getting clearer I find most of the people are very mm, uh, tense and uh, they want to escape from the pressure, the everyday pressure. So we need a place where uh, you can relax, recoup, you know, rejuvenate, you know, so that you become stay healthy and joyful. Forest cover is like a sunscreen, it's a must. You know, without sunscreen, can you stand in the sun for a long time? You get sunburned. So tree cover, the mountain, the river, the lakes, these are sacred. Maybe we, you think, we think that we are very far away, distance from the earth. We are not. We are always connected with her. We are children of her. So when Mother Earth is unhealthy, we will become unhealthy. It's already showing the COVID-19. It's just uh, one uh, distress signal uh, of Mother Earth. And uh, we will be the one who suffer most, actually, by all the insects and all the Fung fung fungus will again thrive and start living again and earth will become, you know, green again without human also. But the sad part will be human may not be there in the picture. The earth will be there. So it's a very sad story actually uh, for me, uh, the, the way we are going. Uh, but I cannot just, uh, you know, creep about it and be negative about it and do nothing, no? I can't help it but because I'm, I, once I'm, you are aware, you are aware. So uh, that's why I, I do what I do. And I hope the uh, world community comes together uh, and uh, really think about the solution. And uh, more and more people are coming uh, to join WAPS uh, this, uh, and uh, taking care of as a volunteer uh, of Punsilok. So I'm quite hopeful. Forest fire is the biggest problem uh, in, in the whole of this uh, region actually. People recklessly, you know, starting, uh, starting fire in their backyard, which is close to the forest. It just spreads because they don't know the behavior of the fire. So to tackle forest fire is one thing is to, we have to do mass awareness kind of campaign so that people uh, sensitize the people why forest fire is so harmful to the you know environment and forest and things like that? And there is a in saying in Manipur, Manipuri, you know, if if a person can come in, the biggest sin is the starting a forest fire. Or a person uh, biggest deed, you know, good deed he can do is a plant a banyan tree. If I go closer to Puchilok and nature, I I think I got closer to myself. So, in, in other words, I, I go to know myself better, how we are closely related, how we are inter inter interdependent to each other. The relationship is ever new, like ever, uh, you know, it's like always surprising. And uh, it g gives me unlimited, uh, uh, you know, source of uh, kind of inspiration. Uh, I think this, this is something uh, only the very blessed <laughs> human can have in their life, I think. It's nothing like, you know, witnessing a, a forest grow, you know, and you are part of it. I think it's something very rare, uh, you know, for a, a human to get a chance to experience like this. This, I'll do it lifetime over and over and over again. There's endless and endless story to tell in every lips, actually. There's a secret, and there's secret hidden everywhere, no? So, my life is nothing. Any lifespan, many lifetime will take to discover, you know, what's, and it will be always fresh and 